Hey, I'm Rob, and this is the DeWalt 20 volt max cordless drill driver kit. I've had it for over two years, and here's my likes and dislikes. All right, let's go. The first thing I noticed right off the bat was the feel of it in your hands. It just feels comfortable with the ergonomic shape. It was really comfortable to hold, especially when you're using it for a long time. Your hand doesn't get very <clears throat> tired, which I really love. What I love about this drill is you can get into tight and small places because of the compact and lightweight design. It fits into those tight areas, which can be really annoying if you can't get to them. It delivers 300 unit watts of power, which gives you a wide range of application. This high speed transmission drill delivers two speeds, zero to 450 and 1500 RPM for a range of fastening and drill applications. I really like the half inch single sleeve ratcheting chuck, which provides tight bit gripping strength. Cause I noticed some drills really start to loosen up after time, but this one after two years, it's still good as new. It's the same as when I bought it. If you're anything like me, you want your tools to last. And the one thing I noticed about the Dewalt drill is it's lasted a long time for me. It's good as new. It's the same as, it's just as good as when I bought it two years ago. I've even put it away for a month or two and then pulled it out and the battery still works on without even charging it. So it has a really good battery life. It lasts a long time. The power stays for a long time. So some drills I noticed they really uh, get weak really fast, which can get really annoying. But with this drill, I haven't had any problem with the battery. I really enjoy the long battery life. So for the dislikes, I would say it's a little on the bulky side sometimes in terms of being heavy. It's a touch heavy, especially if you're using it for a long time. And the light is not bright enough. I find it's just uh, a touch on the dim side, so it's hard when you get into those uh, dark spots. And one more small ne negative thing I could mention is the when you slide in the batteries into the charger or to the actual uh, drill, it just doesn't go in really super easy. It's just kind of awkward sometimes. You have to fidget with it once or twice. Very minor thing, but all the upside really outweighs uh, the few negatives that I mentioned. So overall, I'm so glad that I got this drill and I'm really happy with it. And hopefully that helps you in your next decision on making your next drill purchase. Talk to you later.